does it take for a foreign corporation to get the corporate death penalty in the United States of America? It's a question we need to ask ourselves. After news broke yesterday of BP's legal settlement over its Gulf oil spill disaster or crime in 2010, 11 workers were killed when their oil rig exploded. And for three months, five million barrels of toxic crude gushed into the Gulf of Mexico as BP never made contingency plans for the sort of obvious crisis and, and therefore was trying to find a way to plug the hole. That oil killed marine life, it blanketed coastlines, and it put Gulf Coast small businesses out of business. To this day, we still don't know the long-term effects of this catastrophe on the ecosystem or our food chain, which is now contaminated with eyeless shrimp, clawless crabs, and other oil-mutated aquatic freak shows not to mention the human cancers that will show up in future decades. So now the foreign corporation responsible for all of this, BP, used to be called British Petroleum, is just going to cut a small check and then go back to business as usual, punching holes in the Gulf. BP pled guilty to 14 felony and misdemeanor charges and agreed to pay a $4.5 billion fine, the largest criminal fine in our nation's history. But for a corporation that just announced it earned $5.4 billion in the last three months, BP knows they got off easy. The organization Public Citizen notes, claims arising from the Gulf disaster, which killed 11 workers and did untold damage, puts the company's liability at a minimum of $51.5 billion. That's more than 10 times what BP will end up paying to settle. As part of the settlement, the government still reserves the right to charge two, two BP employees for manslaughter. It'll likely be two low-level workers who will have to take the fall for the entire corporation and the industry. They repeatedly ignored regulations and cut safety corners just to maximize their quarterly profits. Because of our two-tiered criminal justice system, one for the rich and one for everybody else, rarely do corporate suits go to jail. Altogether, this settlement will do very little to change the corrupt scam that the oil barons are running on the American people. As a spokesperson for Public Citizen said, we're stunned. The settlement is pathetic. The point of the criminal justice system is twofold, to punish and to deter, and this does neither. In a tragic irony that proves Public Citizen's point, news broke on Friday today of another oil rig exploding off the coast of Louisiana. Early reports indicate two workers are dead and another two workers are missing. Perhaps if our criminal justice system had taken swifter action against BP and followed through by banning the company from doing business in the United States, the entire industry might shape up.